Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this tutorial, we'll walk you through the setup and operation of how to use a limit switch for the e-stop with the VFD GK3000 from ATO. In addition, we're using a motor to provide a more visual manifestation of this e-stop mechanism. All these mentioned items are available on ATO.com. You could check them out via the links in the description below if you're ever interested in building up your own project and having a try. To establish the integration, wire the limit switch in series with the VFD GK3000's emergency stop input, which is terminal X3, and complete the loop at COM terminal, just as shown in the provided circuit diagram. In doing that, when the limit switch is engaged, the VFD promptly halts its output. The key parameter settings required for this configuration has been outlined as follows. You can take a screenshot and save it to your device for later review. Let's dive into the actual parameter settings. Start by powering the VFD and accessing the parameter settings by pressing the menu key. Configure P0.01 to enable digital frequency setting with power off memory. Once done, press enter to confirm and exit. Next, set P0.03 to select the desired operation mode. Having it set to zero enables VFD operation via the control panel. Then configure the acceleration time in P0.12 to five seconds. Similarly, set the deceleration time in B0.13 to five seconds as well. Then let's return to the previous menu level and navigate to the P3 parameter group where we're going to enable the emergency stop function of the VFD. Set P3.02 to 47, assigning this function to input terminal X3. After completing all settings, press ESC twice to return to the run mode. With the components properly wired, let's perform a test run. Initiate the VFD by pressing the green FWD button. As you can see here, the VFD frequency reaches the expected 50 Hz, driving the motor to the corresponding speed. At this point, activate the limit switch by physically triggering it. Upon activation, the VFD immediately halts its output, leading to a gradual slowdown of the motor, which finally comes to a halt. The seamless coordination between the limit switch and VFD GK3000 provides a reliable emergency stop solution in critical situations. Once again, all the product links have been posted in the description below. Do check them out and place your order if you'd like to try out this system in person. So that's all for today. If you find this video useful, give it a thumbs up and kindly subscribe for more videos related to electrical engineering. We'll see you again in our next video here at the ATO channel.